two days ago deodorant was dropped down the toilet. Plastic and everything. It seemed okay now we are seeing some problems. I have read online so many things I don't know what the right thing to do is. I read to use a toilet auger. Then another person said, no don't do that it will break the toilet. Instead take the toilet apart and pull it out. How do I do this? Which is right? Very confused. Welcome to Just Answer. Your best bet would be to do whatever you can. Plunge it or use an auger. To clear out the bowl then pull the toilet off the floor and see if you can retrieve the deodorant. I would try plunging it first. If the toilet is not currently stopped up then just pull it off the floor. But, how do I take it off the floor? Do I turn the water off outside or just the cold water next to the toilet? You turn off the water at the shut off below the toilet tank then sponge the water out of the tank and the bowl. The pop the caps off the bolts at the floor and back the nuts off at the floor to release the bowl. There will still be a little water in the bowl even if you sponge it all out. Okay, do you mean the bolts on the bottom of the toilet or the bolts under the seat? Not the bolts to remove the toilet seat, I am very confused. Sorry I have never done this before. The bolts at the base of the toilet bowl. They hold the bowl to the floor. Here's a video on how to reset the toilet http colon slash www.youtube.com slash watch v equals uval paid fm underscore die and feature equals related. Relist, answer quality. I just wanted more detail. I have never done this type of thing before. More detail would have been helpful. Hi my name Ice will do my best to help solve your problem. Rick gave you a pretty good description plus a video, I can help you further if you need, what part do you need help with? Where are you confused? And I can explain. Well right now I can't get the bolts up but I will just might be the wrench. I will go get another one. But once? I do that what do I do? Do I just lift it up? Where do I look? Will it just fall out? Also, how can I be sure the water it turned off, I am afar to flush in case it overflows. Tell Rick I am sorry. I may have pre-emptively rated it too fast. I was just getting a little overwhelmed. I am a 22 year old girl and this is the first maintenance problem I have ever had to deal with so I am a little frantic. Okay I will reply back in a minute, it will take you some time to type this out, so this mezg is just to let you know I'm answering your question in full it will just take a min so expect a detailed reply in a few minutes. Thank you. I appreciate you letting me know that so very much. Just checking it's not $30 every time I reply is it? Okay yes a closet auger will push a lot of things through the toilet as opposed to a plunger. Given what you dropped in there, you have to do as Rick advised you, pull the toilet, because an auger will not push the deodorant stick through, and you don't want it to because it would just clog up down the line where you would not be able to remove as easy. The first thing you need to do is shut the water of at the shut off valve, at the wall or floor on the left side of the toilet, then flush the toilet to remove as much water as you can, flush it and hold the handle down until no more water leaves the toilet. Then if you have a plunger, plunge the toilet a few times, 
this will push some more water down the drain you will not have to deal with splashing when you actually pull the toilet, then take the toilet lid off of the back of the toilet tank, and use a sponge or some rags and try to soak up and remove as much water as you can from the tank, again so you do not have to deal with it when you pull the toilet, next remove the water supply line from the shut off valve on the left side of the toilet be using a wrench and turning it counterclockwise until it comes loose. You have to remove the two toilet bolt caps, plastic dome dress pieces, pop them off by squeezing them or with a flat screwdriver underneath the rim of the cap and they just pop off, then there are two bolts on the bottom of the toilet, which holds it to the floor, these turn off with a wrench counterclockwise until the nut comes off. If the bolt just spins you have to try and hold the bolt with a pair off pliers while you loosen the nut. If it still spins and you cannot get it loose you have to use a reciprocating saw to cut them off. Once they are off, the toilet will just pull up and off the flange, it may be hard because it's still stuck to the waxen floor, but it's just stuck at this point nothing is holding it. Do you need to flip the whole toilet over so the bowl is facing and resting on the floor and you have to use a closet auger, running hose, hand snake anything you have to force it through the bottom of the toilet and push the deodorant out the way it came in. Once you get it out you need a new wax ring, clean the old one off the toilet and off the flange before adding the new one to the flange. Place the new wax ring on the flange and place new stool to flange toilet bolts in the flange slots. You can get a kit at any home improvement or hardware store for around $7. Set the toilet and tighten the bolts. Rehook up the water line and you should be good. If you still are confused, tell me what you're confused about and I can explain that part to you. No it's only $30 when you are happy with the answer, you have to click accept on your side, Rick was not paid for his responses and I have not been paid either, so you have not been charged yet, your $30 is setting in limbo until your content to hit accept, and then it would be the $30 you put up. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.